are different from animals. Animals just go straight away. All they do is they find a mate through whatever means and then they go the straight way, they ejaculate, make children and that's it. They don't have sex for fun. And have you seen a salmon? Do you know how a salmon, um, if you catch a male salmon, you have denied the male salmon of just one ejaculation because the male salmon just gets just one ejaculation in his life and after ejaculating, he's dead. Yes, because what the male salmon does is it will keep the sperm, keep the sperm, keep the sperm, keep, keep the sperm and then go back to where it was born. And then when it finds a female, the female will lay her eggs and then the male salmon will just produce a lot of sperm, produce the sperm, produce the sperm to cover the whole area where he was born. And then just after that, he dies. But the interesting thing is, at that age, if you keep the male salmon and move him away from where he can ejaculate, he lives longer before dying. So you can tell that ejaculations actually drains the salmon and kills him. In the same way, we did a test with a worm, right? Worms that were having sex and ejaculating and having populating itself and the same worm, they were not having sex. We observed that those who were having sex died earlier than those who were not having sex. It also tells you that it drains energy. It drains energy. Now, if you are born, everybody is born, everybody is born with some vitality, some sexual energy and vitality. And you can decide to expend it. The ebitu mayawadrin there, amid the mokon raw, ubiya binyani biya nyen bada ne uhuyegu, nyen bada na uhuyesano, nyen bada na idzi enyuje nechu. So it's a new nature. What happens to you here is once you follow the normal trend, you are going to drain your energy. And in your 60s, in your 70s, what happens to you is the two that you were born with. If you have overused it, you have over stretched it or today obia oye juma na onyimde onya ketia na akotia na onyan onyimde oye de na bosom so obenya ketia inti this can is as is ya no apobosa no apobosa no apobosa no apobosa inti ebe he bosom bosom na wa bobosa ma onyi hwi wo no the same way oye de benyin bia tase de your body, or today, a, a production factory. Your body is like a factory. As a male, your body produces two million sperms every day. Every day, we are produce two million sperms. Now, and sana binyin o sperm obeye enough de edible one. In here, at least two hundred million to five hundred million. Meanwhile, Obodin will produce two million every day. In the young family, the same way, once you over ejaculate, say a masturbate, na say timbiya a masturbate biya na who is spam yego, timbiya a masturbate biya na who is spam yego. All you are doing is you are overtasking the body, and once you overtask the body, the body also grows old. It grows weak that is what i want men to understand that yes you can have sex as many times as you want but the question men are asking me is that how can you have sex without ejaculating now an orgasm from an ejaculation but initially me pedo bia ta se de de ohun sanu na ohun ban there are two different things the enya atinka the enyi besiere da the ohun ba na e hwe ye gun there are two different things eko de akunichi en eko so tumo ba kroma 
So you can have an ejaculation without an orgasm, and you can have an orgasm without an ejaculation. But the question still is, why is Papa Kwamina so interested in this sort of this sort of thing? Now, the the most important thing here is, we want to live. Only ye reserve energy. In this say, ama obodin wan reserve them energy na na erubo obodin kau. Erubo obodin kau. And once you over tasking the body, then you are also destroying the very factory that produces the sperm for you to be able to live a happy life. Now, um, cameraman, I would want you to show this to them on my, on my slide. Yes, I'll be on your side, but I'm still with you here. Now, I am showing you the male testicle. Yapa, male testicle, no hontam. Ni echo, abana or demon, miss morty. In this a ewa, abana or demon, on a ye buewa, erishen. Enna, se echa. Abanuma, when you dissect the the testicle, what you see on your right, what you see here, this is the sperm production factory. It is where you see you can see the red mouse, the red pointer moving. Yes. So where I am here, inside here, <clears throat> that is the sperm production factory. This is where your two million sperms are produced every day. And these tubes, these tubes you have here, these tubes you have here are where the 2 million sperm each day are stored. And then they go all the way up and then link to the uh, uh, prostate gland before the prostate gland secretes the semen so the sperm passes through the semen and comes out. I hope you follow. So, um, We'll be getting to the blackboard. We'll do a simple calculations, a simple calculation, and then from there we would come to um, make you understand uh, what do you call it, what I am talking about. So, I think I did this last week, but I would want everyone to understand. Then after that, I would show you. After that, after that, I will show you. Don't have to over ejaculators. One, the body produces two million sperms every day. Two million sperms every day. Now, after producing the two million sperms every day, each time you have sex, the body assumes that you are going to produce a human being exactly like you. So, in preparation, the body then decides that, hey, this guy is having sex. And then I'll have to give him 2 million sperms so he can produce a human being just like me. So he, instead of giving you two mi the 2 million you produce in a day, he will give you 200 million. So you should have enough reserve for, before the body can give you 2 million sperm, 200 million sperm, and you become okay, you become normal. So if you don't have enough, what the body does is, the first place the body would attack if you don't have enough sperm for the body to get the two million is it will attack your kidney. It will attack your kidney and take energy from your kidney. So if you check most men who over ejaculate, their kidneys are weak because the energy in the kidney is the first one that the body would use to produce the sperm. So let's say you have stored five million you have managed to store 500 million sperm you have kept well and you have been you have managed to store five million sperm when you store the five million sperm the first round you go you you lose what 200 million so you are left with 300 million now, once you have 300 million, 
you are going to look fine, you are going to look okay, you are not going to be tired, and you are not going to sleep and snore immediately after ejaculation. You become normal, like nothing has happened. Your heart is not going to beat like most people experience. It's simply because you have what? Reserve. And then, if you decide to go round two, you deduct 200 million again from this 300 million. And then you'll be left with 100 million. And then here also, you'll be fine. Your body will be fresh, relaxed, feeling cool, and, you know, everything is just cool. Then you decide that, hey, Charlie, this girl is good. Man must do another one. And then you go 300 million. So it may you go 300 million. When you start the next one, the body says, mm, I only have 100 million. And the guy is doing it again. So I need to borrow energy from the kidney to produce the remaining 100 million. So then you go 200 million. So you are owing minus 100 million. So what, you, what happens to you is when you eat the next day and you eat the next day, when you eat the next day, the body takes 40% of the food you are eating. Water, drink, whatever. It takes the 40% of it to produce 200, 200 uh, sperm, 2 million sperms. So that 100 million that you are owing to take you five days to pay back the kidney's energy. So let me get to my say. Aha. It will take you five days to pay back the kidney's energy. And then you don't wait the five days. So once you pay back the five days, now you are neutral. The body now has to start building. You don't have any reserve. The body will now start have to building two million again, two million again, two million again. And then within the five days, let's say after the you are owing a hundred million, and then you two days time, you have only four million, and you go and have sex again, and you ejaculate. All you do is the body will take the four million. From this, 4 billion would be added to this one, the minus you have. So you have minus 600. And then to still pick your 2 million, because it still has to produce a human being. And to still take it from the kidney. So as you continue this way, and you drain the kidney energy, where else would the body get energy from? Your brain. Now, when you drain your brain energy and your sexual energy is unable to communicate with your pituitary gland, Alzheimer's disease. Check. Not me. Science says it and it's, it's a fact. You know that. Sexual energy not going into your pituitary gland. If you don't have your sexual energy, whether you are a male or a female, moving up into your pituitary gland, you get Alzheimer's disease. You have a mental problem. That is why we are saying that over masturbation can lead to mental problems. And I'm, I hope this is very clear. So it is very safe for you to learn to control. You would want to have sex, I say do it because sex is good. You can have sex as many times as you want, but learn to control the number of times you ejaculate because the number of times you ejaculate can hurt you.